Today's battle is between Sarcosuchus and and Dinosuchus, two of the largest crocodile prehistoric crocodilians I ever heard that were ever discovered so far. And if you hear that noise in the background, that's a tornado tornado siren. Yeah. I live in Wisconsin and they do this every Wednesday, so yeah. So let's start with Sarcosuchus. Sarcosuchus was a crocodile that lived in Africa and was around twenty nine to thirty one feet on average, but they can and they can weigh up to three to three to five tons. But but when it comes to length, yeah, length wise, they can some have reached the length up to around forty forty two feet. So yeah. Now let's get to the Dinosuchus. Dinosuchus lived in North America and was around 26 to 39 feet long. But mostly some average adults like were up to 36 feet long. So yeah. And they can weigh up to they can weigh up to around two and two to six tons. But there's some average adults weigh up to around five five tons. So yeah. Okay, now let's compare the weapons. So, Dinosuchus is an alligator and Sarcosuchus is a crocodile. Anyway, um, yeah, what can I say about them? They both have an equally equal bite force when it comes to tail flapping power because that's a secondary weapon that's tied. Okay, I think they're calming down to a little something. Yeah, but anyways, um, um, yeah, there was, um, yeah, they're pretty much equal in weapons. There's nothing much more to say about them. They both have body armor. Yeah, they're pretty much have the same weapons. Okay, let's get to their main stats. So when it comes to speed, Dinosuchus is a little faster when it comes to um, water and land. No, actually, Dinosuchus is is faster on land but slower in water. A little bit slow, slower in water than Di than Sarcosuchus. But anyway, strength tied, brains tied. Attack is tied. Defense, they're both tied. <laughs> they're, they're basically just the same thing. But when it comes to aggressiveness, I give the slight edge to Sarcosuchus. That's because the environment it had lived in, and you know, every, it had to be tough and rough. They had to fight with giant predators like Carcharodontosaurus and, and some. Uh, and Spinosaurus. Dinosuchus only had to fight off like some Albertosaurus or T Rex. Sarcosuchus definitely had a lot more predators. Okay, let's move on to the fight. Ding, 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 ding. So you can see that the Dinosuchus is a little larger when it comes to when it comes to like size. When it comes to weight, but when it comes to size and length, and Sarcosuchus has this. Anyway, let's fight. Who the crocodilians circle each other? The Sarcosuchus wants to defend his territory, but the Dinosuchus is looking for a new freaking dinner. Sarcosuchus and the Dinosuchus both circle each other. The crocodilians, both crocodilians, giving each other death death. Dinosuchus surprisingly attacks first and bites. Right, the Sarcosuchus' arm, which is like right here. The Sarcosuchus, like, snarl, like, growls in pain. So he bites one of the Sarcosuchus, the Dinosuchus' legs and does the death row. They both do the death row and they both lose an arm and leg. Both, they both lose a leg. Swallowing them in the process. Dinosuchus bites the, the Sarcosuchus' um, midsection, but it doesn't do anything. 
I mean, it does. I mean, it does some damage, but it doesn't really affect Dinosuchus. Dinosuchus then gets tail slapped in the face by Sarko, who who swims away. Dinosuchus chases after Sarkosuchus, but the more more agile and faster Sarkosuchus in this type of situation, it evades and escapes the 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 smaller, but heavier. Dinosuchus. Then out of nowhere, Sarcosuchus attacks the the Dinosuchus's underbelly. Dino. Okay, for now we'll refer to Dinosuchus as Dino and Sarcosuchus as Sarco. So, so Sarco bites into Dino's belly and just rips and does a death row and everything. So yeah, Dino is losing a lot of blood, but he isn't giving up yet. So he clamps his jaws around on the on the jaws of the Sarcosuchus and clamps them down shut. He can't do Sarcosur no Sarco can't do anything. He can't bite back. It's just a lot of death rolling before um they both need to go up to the air to breathe. Sarcosuchus he needs to go up to air to breathe. But he has to take down this MF for first. So yeah, he keeps holding him down and down, with him down and turning him until they he, they both temporarily drown. Yeah, then they both just drowned and when, and lose their consciousness. But then Sarcosuchus comes up to the air to breathe, but so does Dinosuchus in a matter of minutes. Then they both attack head on, biting each other and tail slapping, trying, trying to intimidate each other. They both keep biting and biting until, until Sarcosuchus rips off another limb off the, of, of Dino. Dino, like, snarl, bellows, no, like, Roars in pain, and then um, just bites the neck of Sarko Sukis, and and death rolls and does the death roll. Sarko is in a is immobilized and can't really attack as well. And now after after two minutes, the Sar Sarko Sukis is dead. Dinosuchus lets go of the the crocodilian, uh, yeah, his crocodilian foe, and then goes all out rabid wolf on him, ripping him apart and eating his guts and everything. Winner is Dinosuchus. Anyway, okay, so yeah, verdict. I think Dinosuchus would win around sixty five percent of the time. They're both equal. Match, it'll be a really, it'll be a really close fight in the end. I think Dinosaurus has got this. But who do you think would win in the comment? Who do you think would win this fight? Tell me in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. And make sure, and if you want to suggest a battle, just leave it down in the comments and I'll do it. Okay, bye.